I want to talk about Rania. Rania is a 19 year old college student who had to stay late in school at night. She parked her car off campus as she was walking back to her car she heard footsteps behind her. The faster she went, the faster the footsteps started going. She was shaking, sweating, terrified. But finally she reached her car. As she was opening the door, a man grabbed her, attacked her, and raped her. When they ask me what do I do for a living, I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu instructor. That's what I tell them. What I really like doing, why do I teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, is because there's nothing more satisfying than a woman telling me that I'm no longer afraid to walk to my car. Or a kid telling me that I'm not, no longer afraid of getting bullied in school. Or an, even a grown man telling me that uh, now I can control my anger and I have inner peace. All thanks to martial arts in general and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in particular. What is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? To you who don't know anything about Jiu Jitsu or martial arts, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a martial art, a combat sport, a self defense system. It's based in grappling. By grappling, I mean that there's no kicking or punching. It's uh, more of chokes and joint locks. Uh, we can see it in modern day mixed martial arts competitions like MMA. The one we see on TV like UFC. Yeah. Uh, it helps a person, a smaller person, to prevail and defend himself against a larger opponent using leverage, proper technique, and biomechanics. Gracie family, they were the one who created the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, by mixing Judo and traditional Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. Okay. The core principle of Jiu-Jitsu, they can also be uh, used in life based on principles. The core principles are efficiency, patience and control. When we talk about efficiency in life is to achieve maximum output with minimum input. How can we do that? Eating healthy, for example. Uh, being respectful to people and honest. Being a hardworking business person. All that we can achieve maximum result with minimal effort. When it comes to patience, which is the second aspect, is patience. Patience, when you're fighting an opponent, especially a much larger opponent, you have to be patient. Take your time, focus. Not act upon impulses or aggressivity. Or you'll waste your breath, you'll waste your energy, and you will lose. In life, we also have to be patient, patient with our friends, our loved ones, also our enemies. We have to be patient with our enemies, so we can be more focused. We have to breathe, take deep breath, so we can weigh our options and alternatives. And also we have not to act upon our impulses that will make us more focused. The third and last aspect is control. The final objective in any fight is to control and impose your will over your opponent. You can do that the faster way is by physical domination. And how can we do it in life? In life you have to have control over the struggle within every one of us. How do we do that? I'll tell you examples. Refraining yourself from using drugs or alcohol eating healthy, nutritious food, 
not eat any junk food. And of course, dedication and hard work at the gym and exercising. I want to show you now, uh, I want to introduce two of my students, Krista Bekhalil and Christian Chad. Please give a more welcome. See Jasmine season. Okay, I want to introduce to you what's the basics of Jiu Jitsu. Please, Chris, I want you to lay down here. Yes, Christian, just sit on your knees. Okay, if someone is attacked on the, on the ground, as it's a rape, rape position, if Christian here is punching him, strangling him with his hands, good. What he has to do, what Chris has to do is control his wrist and close his legs around his back. This is called a guard. Now, he is controlling his posture, if you can see. For example, sit back, Christian, let go. If he sits back, he can beat him, right? And he's far away from Chris. Chris tried to reach it, he cannot. See, you cannot. But now he can use his guard to make him closer by bending his legs. So he's protecting himself. So even if Christian wants to hit him, he cannot knock him out. He might tear him a little, but it's nothing, see? He's controlling everything. But he's on the bottom. Not only is he defending himself, he can actually apply physical beating on him while he's down. How can we do that? One of the most basic moves are, it's like shot triangle choke. It's called a triangle choke. Let's see a triangle choke. What, what he's gonna do here, Chris, is gonna isolate the arm to the back and put his leg over his shoulder. Once he does that, he's gonna take the other leg on top of the other one and leave the arm, close the lock, elevate his hips, and he's choking. He does. The second move I want to teach you guys, free sessions, huh? <laughs> is uh, an arm bar. So, Christian, please say now. He also has wrist control, closing the guard on his back. What Christian is going to do is, he's going to let his leg down behind his back and move two o'clock and then he's going to lift his leg on the other side, isolate the arm and push forward. He can break his arm now. <laughs> Thank you guys. Don't miss practice again. Huh? Okay. Uh, when they ask me actually, what do I do for a living? What I really do, I change lives. Thank you.